Steelers fans remember the moment like it was yesterday, not 50 years ago this week. I was 12 years old when uh, he did the immaculate reception and really put Pittsburgh on the map. And it's just every time I think about it, I get choked up. The shocking loss of a legend, Franco Harris. That's how Jessica Coliani described him on the sign she left on the North Shore. He was not only one of the best players to ever play the game, he was just a great human. And humble each time she got to meet him while working inside Acrisure Stadium. He was selfless, never saw him turn one person away. It was devastating to hear the loss of Franco this morning, um, knowing that I, we were going to meet him tomorrow. Tom Olenek said Franco had planned to sign copies of Olenek's newly released book on Thursday. It's all about Pittsburgh history and the role the Steelers and Franco himself played in it. He was so vibrant and healthy and excited and, uh, you know, so part of this community and all of a sudden so sudden. So I, I don't know how to describe it other than just being numb. And I, I it, it's just, you know, I, it's hard to get your arms around it. Simon Mortimer and Reese Austin stopped by to see the memorial grow. I feel like I owe it to the city. They weren't even born yet when Franco was on the field, but their love for the Steelers was passed down. Austin shared this photo of his mom as a young girl getting to meet number 32. Just see the impact on this of in the culture that he kind of made and then seeing that like also my mom and other past generations all got to appreciate him too. Franco's death coming just days before the immaculate reception anniversary so many were eager to commemorate. I'm trying to see a silver lining here and I have this feeling that something magical is going to happen Saturday. And this Friday at 3.30, the Steelers will host a ceremony right here where Franco made that uh, that iconic catch so many years ago. And we'll keep you updated if any plans change. We're live on the North Shore, Kaylee Gunderson, Pittsburgh's Action News.